Chaos hides in the shadows. Dictated by pure and absolute savagery. One man. Well, boy. One boy. Who is also a giant church. The legend. The myth, the maverick, Jake Paul. Hold up. No, I'm Logan. Jake is my brother. I'm Logan Paul. Oh, snap. What's up, guys? How y'all doing on this fine, fine new day, brand new day? Um, another video for you guys. Um, my main talking point today is going to be Logan Paul and yeah I've got a few clips um, to get you in the, in the know if you're not already, if you're not clued up on what happened. Um, I mean I'm just looking at his homepage now uh, and you'll see um, he's quite quite a popular guy on YouTube. Um, I'll explain more in a second um, but first I've got to show you a clip. Um, of a bit more about uh, what he's about uh, before before I talk about the main the main issue the main subject. Um, but as you've seen the title of this vlog, he's back, so that's good um, for anyone who's a fan of his. If you're not, you're probably like, uh, why why are you even talking about him? Uh, but yeah, there's two sides to each story, and I'm gonna explain a bit about that today. Um, so. Good morning, Mavericks. Morning, buddy. Hi, young doggy. How you feeling, puppy? That's a good boy. Kong, don't try this at home, buddy. And I'm home alone. This doesn't happen. Ayla's not here. Brendan's not here. Evan's not here. But I do got my it. boy. Hi. Hi. To Logan? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, everyone calm down. Everyone calm down on vlogging. Everyone. No one's everyone. talking. Good morning, Logan. What's poppin'? We're affected by that negatively. I want to apologize wholeheartedly. <laughs> Good morning, Logan. What's Baba? Oh, no. My hat. My dog. You guys, it is true. We're at Vidco. Oh. If that's not the sexiest dwarf I've ever seen. You know, stop it. <laughs> Do you like my new hat? My cousin just got this for me. From Italy. Or from the airport. I don't know. Why am I speaking like this? I don't know. But yeah. Back to what we're talking about today. And Logan Paul. And yeah, so if you didn't know who he was, now you do, kind of. And I'm gonna get into a bit about what kind of trouble he got in. Basically, he went to this forest in Japan called Suicide Forest, got in trouble, because he found a dead body and he didn't report it. And what he did do was upload the video to YouTube, his YouTube channel, where he's got millions of followers and subscribers, most of them younger than him. And as you see from the next clip I'm gonna show, um, there was an uproar from all the parents. A lot of the viewers as well were like, what are you doing? Got a lot of criticism. And for a month he didn't actually vlog. Until he made it back. With this new vlog. Um, but I'll show you that at the end. We'll end on a positive note, but yeah. So, here's a video of him apologising to his viewers for for all that happened. And it was like, the next upload literally it was an, an apology straight away. The first reaction. But he did also... Make, make like another video all, all, as a tribute to suicide after that um, which I mentioned in the pre earlier vlog um, but yeah he, he, he's got through it somehow like at that point it was like nah he's hitting all time low he's gonna lose all his followers and everything I thought that myself I mean 
I was watching these vlogs kind of before anyway, and I knew it was silly and a bit of an idiot, but I didn't think something like that would happen. But he's bounced back, that's the thing. And you've got to take that as an example for everyone. You know, however difficult it gets, everyone's hating him, people are telling him to go die, but he's still here making a movie. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, and I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. So what we came across that day in the woods was obviously unplanned, and the reactions you saw on tape were raw, they were unfiltered. Uh, none of us knew how to react or how to feel. I should have never posted the video. That ABC News exclusive with Logan Paul, the YouTube star, superstar who has millions of young followers and has made millions of dollars with his zany videos online, recently, as you know, came under fire for posting an alarming video showing the body of a person who took their own life. Now he's sitting down with Michael for, for a reason. And I think that reason is so I could take this experience, learn from it, spread the message the right way mm -hmm. about suicide prevention and suicide prevention awareness. And, and so did you know, it, let, let's fast forward a little mm -hmm. bit. So you go and you, you film it and you film it, then you edit it and then you, you put it out there um, for the world to see. Yeah. And, and, and was there a point when you said, hmm, maybe, maybe this is not a good decision. Maybe this, maybe I should not. Um, but yeah, so I've watched it back myself as well, the interview and uh, yeah, he's really uh, solemn and he really down well, you can't act yourself, if you know what I mean. Act it. You can't act like he normally does. I mean, you've seen the apology, you see how he is there as well, very serious. Um, but then you see this interview, which is, I think it's last week, like the day before his first vlog. Uh, no, I'm not making sense. But anyway, in that interview, um, you know, he's changed his haircut, he's trying to make amends, but still, he feels bad for what he's done and he realises. But that's not going to really make it up to all the parents and the fans that are turned against him. But he, he's meant, like I mentioned, he's getting all these threats and everything. Um, but he's bouncing back. And it's good to see. And I know there was a lot of tension, like, even me, I said, like, what an idiot. But to be honest, uh, you, you, you can't hold, hold it to it. Like, you can't judge everything he's ever done based on this one mistake. He's made silly mistakes before. This is like a cra crazy mistake to make, and he, he won't he won't do it again. But like the way he said it just, in the interview is like I just wanted to make a fun video. Yeah, a fun video in a suicide forest. So now in retrospect, he's thinking like, what did I do? Um, obviously, to anyone else, it's logical, but it, you can't assume that everyone thinks the same way. It's unfair to to to, to judge him in that way. So these clips have shown that, and then what I'm going to show you next is literally the intro to his return vlog, which is very good. It's like admitting what's happened, but still with that same comedy, um, because even he said himself he hasn't lost that at all. If not, it's going a step further. He's got new merchandise called Do It Different, and he is trying to do it different now, I guess. Um, he's getting sued, though, like he mentioned, but he's going to talk more about that. And yeah, it's just good to see him back, because I enjoyed his videos. I mean, I'm a Jake Paul fan as well. Both of their videos are really good. Their vlogs are good for different reasons, and some of the same reasons as well. Um, but yeah, I, I just... He's going to move past it, he's going to have to. I mean, how, how many people are there in media that are hated but still make money? Um, he, he's hated by probably half of the people that liked him before. But he's still got fans, don't worry. And I'm one of them. I'm not ashamed to say it. So, yeah. I mean, I'm, just, I'm happy, actually. I'm happy he's back. Some people be like, nah. I can't believe it, to be honest. I, you did the Suicide Be Here Tomorrow. So what, what was that project about? Michael, I've gotten to meet the most incredible people and have the most incredible conversations. Mm -hmm. And in fact, that's, that's one thing I don't regret about this whole experience is I would have missed out on making these relationships and getting this education.
one of the things I'm learning, which actually pertains to me as well, is um, crisis passes. Crisis passes, man. And, and for anyone suffering, I think it's important to know that. Like, you are not alone. And for me, why I say it's important for me is because, like, dude, this has been, to, to be honest with you, the hardest time of my life. The myth. The maverick. Jake Paul. No, I'm Logan. Jake is my brother. I'm Logan Paul. Oh, snap. No, it's fine. My bad. It's fine. Just keep going. Okay, okay. The Maverick Logan Paul. Showing his face for the first time after the disgraced YouTuber has been spotted across the country. Hiding his face from paparazzi and seen swallowing his tears on social media like a little baby backpack. Yo, hold up, disgraced. What you mean disgraced, boy? I took a break. Besides, I'm still lit as f What other YouTuber you know can take a three-week break and still gain a million subscribers? Boy, you lucky I'll come up there and beat the fuck up. Oh. Hi, he can punch. He and there you go, guys. Logan is back. To his best. It's quite funny actually that vi that vlog though. But I'm watching it and I'm thinking he's brave. He's brave to come back like that because a lot of people wouldn't have just kind of trying to save himself. But who wouldn't? Like I mean, would you just let that criticism come and like not respond? Or well, he has. So if anything, that that's proven it to me. He's one of my favourite. Of course, I've got others. A lot of YouTubers that inspire me. Oh god, he's just an idiot. He is, but he makes me laugh, so. I mean, all YouTubers are weird. I mean, look at me. Um, by now, you've probably gathered that I'm pretty. <laughs> <laughs> weird. And we all are. And it's that uniqueness that gets YouTubers where they are today. So, one day, one day. But I'm not gonna ever take you guys to a suicide forest and film dead bodies for sure. I'm not that crazy. I mean, you saw what happened to him. I mean, I, me, I get anxious if I, if I don't bleep out a swear word. So, I'm nowhere near the, the you go, that's life. And I want to thank you for joining me on this discussion vlog. Um, more funny videos coming soon. Another vlog coming soon, hopefully. Um, I hope you like the new layout of the channel different types of videos, not just plain old vlogs. So thank you and keep watching. Hope you're enjoying the new layout, like I said. Uh, this has been your host, John Luca Luisi. Luisi21, thank you for joining me. Grazie a tutti, thank you. Um, I speak two languages, as you know now. Um, well, well, I always did, but now I'm gonna do that in the vlog more. Just why not? Gotta be all inclusive. I we'll learn Spanish next. Gracias, no. That's all I know in Spanish. Um, muchas gracias. From golden boy to smelly peasant, it's time for the epic comeback. Today, the era of boring YouTube content is over. The litmus level will rise once again. The media is thirstier than ever. And the Tide Pods have never been tastier. Coming to a screen near you. Right fucking now. There's only one thing left to say. Oh my gosh, yo, this feels so weird vlogging. It's been so long, okay, I'm back.